Our last step for section 2.4 is for factoring out the greatest common monomial. Let me add the word factor at the end here. This is our first look at starting to factor things. So to factor out the greatest common monomial factor, you're going to do two things. You are going to factor out the greatest common factor of the numbers. And then you're going to factor out the lowest power of the variable that appears in every term. You put the word factor there. Factoring something is actually going to be a division problem. Okay. So best way to show you this is with an example. I want to factor out the greatest common monomial factor of the following. 6x cubed minus 12x squared plus 24x. Starting messy. So first step I want to do is I want to find the greatest common factor between 6, negative 12, and 24. What's the biggest number that goes into all three of those? The answer to there is going to be 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 6 out in front. My step 2, I have an x cubed. I have an x squared, and I have an x. x is the lowest power of x. So that's going to come out in front. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have something in parentheses here. And the way I'm going to get what goes in that parentheses is I'm going to divide everything here by 6x. 6 divided by 6 is 1. I don't write 1s in front of my variables x cubed divided by x is x squared. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. x squared divided by x is x. 24x divided by 6x, well, 24 divided by 6 is 4. x divided by x is 1, which I don't have to write. Okay? So... You're factoring out the biggest number that goes into every single number, and you're pulling out the lowest variable that appears in every term. So let's look at several more examples, and we'll go do the IXL really quick. First example I'm going to do is I want to factor out, write the word factor, um, 3x minus 12x squared. Okay, so my step one, my numbers are 3 and negative 12. Biggest number that goes into either one of these is 3. I'm going to pull a 3 out. I have an x and an x squared. So my lowest power of x is just going to be a single x. So I'm pulling out a 3 and an x. Let me fix that here. Way I get what goes inside the parentheses is I divide everything by 3x. Any number divided by itself is 1. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. x squared divided by x is x. So that would be my answer. Next one I want to factor. 18h squared plus 3. Biggest number that goes into both 3 and 18 is 3. I have an h squared and I have nothing here. I cannot pull any h's out because there's no h's to pull out of this term. So I am going to get the result of that division problem. The reason why this works is because, hey, that 3 is actually here. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm actually multiplying both of these by 1 to pull the things out. 
18 divided by 3 is 6. H squared stays. 3 divided by 3 is 1. The last example I'm going to do before I excel is this one. 5t squared minus 3. What is the biggest number that goes into negative 3 and 5? Well, the answer is, hey, nothing goes into both of those. Well, yes, something does, and that is the number 1. And if it's the number 1, um, you could write it like this, 5t squared minus 3, but that 1 would just disappear. Okay? When you're doing the IXL, be careful if it says to factor it, I would write this answer. If it asked me what the greatest common factor was, I would use that answer. Okay? Same, the second example I did. If they asked to, what, to factor it, everything in red would be my answer. If they asked what the greatest common factor was, it would be just the number there. And you're going to see that when I flip over to the IXL. And let me get that on my screen in front of me. I and grab my keyboard and this is the factor out of monomial factor out the greatest common factor greatest common factor is one just retype the polynomial so biggest number that goes into four and eight is four and h appears in both the lowest power is one 4 divided by 4 is 1. h cubed divided by h is h squared. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And then the h divided by h is 1. 3 goes into 3 and negative 6. There's a p in both of them. Lowest power is the first. 3 divided by 3 is 1. p squared divided by p is p. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. The P's cancel, and there's my answer. Uh, biggest number that goes into 9 and 6 would be 3. The lowest power of F is squared. 9 divided by 3 is 3. F cubed divided by F squared is just an F. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. The F squareds cancel. I have 3f squared times 3f minus 2. Biggest thing that comes out of here, no letters, um, but a 2 goes into both 10 and 8. 10 divided by 2 is 5 with the k. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Biggest number that goes into 3 and 9 is 3. Lowest power of Q is squared. Gotta use the right arrow to get out. 3, Q, 3 divided by 3 is 1. The cube divided by the squared is just a Q. Negative 9 divided by 3 would be negative 3. Q squareds cancel. Uh, greatest common factor is going to be a 3 for the 3 and the 9. Um, for the Ys, the lowest power of Y is Y squared. 3 divided by 3 is 1. The cube divided by the squared is y to the first. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Square divided by squared is cancel. Biggest number that comes out is going to be 2. 2 is the biggest number that goes into 4 and 6. Um, R, lowest power, would be squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Cube divided by squared is going to give me one r left. Six divided by two is three, and the r squareds cancel. I can pull out a four from the four and the eight, and an x because x appears in every term. Lowest power is the first. Eight x squared divided by four x is two x. Negative four x divided by four x is minus one. Don't forget the closing parentheses. I can pull a 3 and a d squared. Right arrow. 6 divided by 3 is 2. I'm going to have a d left over there. The 3d squared divided by 3d squared is 1. 
close the parentheses. Between six and two is a two. H is the lowest power, H to the first. Six divided by two is three. H squared divided by H is H. Negative two H divided by two H is negative one. Close the parentheses. Here, biggest number would be a six and an N. So six N. 12 divided by six is two. N cubed divided by N is N squared. Negative 6n divided by 6n is minus 1. Okay, um, it says I was at level 3. I'm going to jump up to level 4 so you can see what some of these look like. Factor out the greatest common factor. 4 goes into every one of the numbers. The lowest power of z would be z to the 4th. Um, then I'm going to divide everything by 4z to the 4th. 36 divided by 4 is 9. I've got 6 Z's left over. 8 divided by 4 is positive 2. 9 minus 4 is I have 5 Z's left over. Um, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and I have no Z's left over. So that's their level 4 problem. Let's look at a level 5. Ooh, we have more than one letter in here. So let's look at here. I have a 6 and an 18. Biggest number is 6. K's appear in both. The lowest power of K would be cubed. Okay, M's appear in both. The lowest power of M would be cubed. Then I'm just going to do each part separately. 18 divided by 6 is 3. I have 4 K's left over. I have 7m over 3m. I have 4m's left over. 6 divided by 6 is a 1. The cubes and the other cubes just cancel each other out, so I'm going to have a plus 1. Um, I'm going to do this one. Biggest number that goes into 30, 42, and 2 is 2. Q's appear everywhere. The smallest one is 9. R's appear everywhere. The smallest one is 1. So I'm not going to put a 1 up there. Then I'm going to do each division. 30 divided by 2 is 15. I had 10 minus the 9. I'm going to have 1 Q left over. I had 2 R's minus 1 R is 1 R left over. Plus 42 divided by 2 is 21. 10 Q's over the um, Q to the ninth is 1 Q left over. 1 R and 1 R cancel, so there's not going to be any R's left there. Plus, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Q to the ninth times R over Q to the ninth times R is 1, so I just have 1, and I'm done. So you don't need to do the higher levels. You guys... Um, you guys don't have this tool at the bottom to jump to different levels, but I wanted to show you some that were a little more difficult um, so that you could see that you're just still doing the exact same thing. So that should be enough to get you through the rest of section 2.4. Have fun.